guys in this pack with me, Anthony. Today, I'm the Selfish Crocodile. Book number 56. So, let's go read. In a river deep in the forest, there lived a large crocodile. He was a very selfish crocodile. He didn't want any other creature to drink or bathe in the river. He thought it was his river. Every day, he shouted at the creatures of the forest, Stay away from the river! It's my river! And if you come into my river, I'll eat you up! So there were no fish, no tadpoles, no frogs, no crabs, no fish in the water. They were all afraid of the selfish crocodile. The forest creatures kept away from the river too. Whenever they were thirsty, or miles out of their way to drink in other rivers and streams. Every day, crocodile lay in the sun on his great big back, picking his big sharp teeth with a stick. Early one morning, the forest animals were awakened by a loud groaning sound. Something was in terrible pain. The creatures thought it must have been an animal caught by the crocodile. But as the bright sun came out, they saw that it was the crocodile himself who was in pain. He was lying on his great big back, holding his swollen jaw, crying real tears. Groan. Groan. The creatures grew closer, but well, not too close. Some of them felt sorry for the crocodile. What's the matter with him? Asked the deer. I don't know, the squirrel. Maybe he's gonna die, chirped the blackbird. If that happens, I'll be safe to go into the river again, grunted a wild pig. And most thought about it. They hung branches, they peeked through the grass, they buzzed in the air, they shook their heads as they watched the great big crocodile, and no one tried to help. Suddenly, a little mouse appeared, sniffing the air. He ran along the crocodile's tail and onto his stomach. The other creatures stared. Added a monkey. He's either very brave or very crazy, out a lion. He's gonna be eaten for sure, said an iguana. Stripped along the crocodile's big neck and enters open mouse. There was a hush in the forest. took hold of something and pulled and pulled and pulled. Finally, he pulled it out, put it on his shoulder, and walked out of the crocodile's mouth. The astonished creatures began to cheer. The crocodile sat. It is all gone! Then, he saw the mouse walking down his stomach, carrying an enormous crocodile tooth on his shoulder. The bad tooth was giving me a toothache, said the mouse, turning around to face the now smiling crocodile. Do you want a bath? Oh. oh, no, 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 get rid of it. And when you're finished, come back. I have a present for you. He buried the bad tooth under a tree, and when he returned, the crocodile had a nice, juicy knot waiting for him. As the crocodile watched the mouse eat his nut, he said, You must be very smart if you can chew a toothache, and you are very kind too. I'm so grateful. But what should I do if my toothache comes back? Don't worry, I'll help you take care of your teeth, answered the mouse, nibbling. Soon the crocodile and the mouse were best friends. Long after, the crocodile sent all the animals invi an invitation. Please come to drink and bathe in the river. I won't hurt you. The river belongs to all of us, he said. 
The creatures weren't afraid to drink and bathe in the river anymore. Although the crocodile was sometimes a little grumpy, they grew to love them. And soon, the river was once again full of fish and tadpoles and frogs and crabs and crayfish. I hope you enjoyed this look. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!